Welcome to our 42nd devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. Are you glowing for Christ? Today is Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. Monica and I are here at the Brush Creek Falls at Brush Creek Preserve and State Park in Athens, West Virginia. We're off camera today because the park has a large fence up and we can't get in the photo and still get you the water, this beautiful waterfall. Exodus 34, 29, TLB. Moses didn't realize as he came back down the mountain with the tablets that his face glowed from being in the presence of God. Why was Moses' face glowing? Moses wanted to know God and have a personal, intimate relationship with God. Moses wanted to know more than just God's acts. Moses wanted to know God's heart, his ways. Exodus 33, 12-23 TLB Moses talked there with the Lord and said to him, You have been telling me, take these people to the promised land, but you haven't told me whom you will send with me. You say you are my friend and that I have found favor before you. Please, if this is really so, guide me clearly along the way you want me to travel so that I will understand you and walk acceptably before you. And the Lord replied, I myself will go with you and give you success. For Moses had said, if you aren't going with us, don't let us move a step from this place. If you don't go with us, who will ever know that I and my people have found favor with you and that we are different from any other people upon the face of the earth? And the Lord had replied to Moses, yes, I will do what you have asked, and you have certainly found favor with me and you are my friend. Then Moses asked to see God's glory. The Lord replied, I will make my goodness pass before you, and I will announce to you the meaning of my name, Jehovah, the Lord. I show kindness and mercy to anyone I want to, but you may not see the glory of my face, for man may not see me and live. However, stand here on this rock beside me, and when my glory goes by, I will put you in the cleft of the rock and cover you with my hand until I pass by. Then I will remove my hand, and you shall see my back, but not my face. Moses' face was glowing because he wanted more than a Savior. Moses needed and wanted God to be his friend, counselor, Lord of his heart. How do we make our face life glow? 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9, King Solomon asked God for a hearing heart. 1 Kings 3, 9, the message. Here's what I want. Give me a God-listening heart so I can lead your people well, discerning the difference between good and evil. For who on their own is capable of leading your glorious people? What is a God-listening heart? The heart is the center of a person's identity, the inward, moral, and spiritual life, including the emotions, will, and reason. Our thoughts, attitudes, actions, and convictions flow from our hearts. Mark chapter 4, verses 21 to 25, Jesus explains a God-listening heart. Mark four, twenty-one to 25, Amplified. He said to them, A lamp is not brought in to be put under a basket or under a bed, is it? Is it not brought in to be put on the lampstand? For nothing is hidden except to be revealed, nor has anything been kept secret, but that it would come to light. That is, things are hidden only temporarily, until the appropriate time comes for them to be known. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear and heed my words. Then he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. By your own standard of measurement, that is, to the extent that you study spiritual truth and apply godly wisdom, it will be measured to you, and you will be given even greater ability to respond, and more will be given to you besides. For whoever has a teachable heart, to him more understanding will be given. And whoever does not have a yearning for truth, even what he has will be taken away from him. 
This concludes our 42nd devotional video of Lighthouse Kinship. Are you glowing for Christ? 1 Samuel 16, 7, the message, God looks into the heart. Proverbs 4, 23, NLT, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Monica and I thank you for traveling along with us here today at the Hungry Mother State Park in Marion, Virginia. We had quite an adventure traveling to this state park. Highway 16, as we found out, is known as the Back of the Dragon. This highway has 32 miles of estimated between 260 and 438 turns and hairpin turns and travels around three mountains, Big Walker Mountain, Brushy Mountain, and Clinch Mountain. And it's not for the faint of heart in a 32-foot RV. God was definitely our pilot. Come along and journey with us by subscribing to our channel and hit the little notification bell so you won't miss our next stop. And also, give us a thumbs up, and we'd appreciate you sharing these videos on your social media platforms. And thank you for leaving your comments below on how these devotions are helping you. And we ask that you leave your prayer requests so we know how to pray for you.